Hey guys, I bought an e-bike recently and I paid more than 1000 bucks for it and I, I know it's a good investment but rather than just to pay for the bike, I thought I can get some additional accessories that's gonna protect my bike and myself while I'm riding. I'm gonna share a couple of them with you guys in this video. Whether you are riding on a sidewalk or a busy street, this is a must-have item. This anti-scratch, anti-glare, very high quality bike mirror can be fixed on your handlebar and move any direction or any angle that you want. In addition to that joint for the main glass, there are two more additional joints that you can flexibly move the glass in which angle you want. They have both blue or silver color glass with anti-glare coating. This fits perfectly on a 22.2 mm bike handlebar. I bought this um, uh, elastic band mobile case in the first time for my e-bike. And what I experienced that it's working perfectly, it's steady, it's going to give you a good grip for your mobile and everything is fine. But if you have a face detection technology, this is not going to work for you. This, this rubber band is going to block your face detection camera and it's never going to work or accurately detect on your face. And you have to manually enter the... Uh, lo uh, the keypad lock or something to enable the phone but if you have a home button type phone this is going to be perfect and simple so i faced this problem and i bought an another one so i replaced my regular mobile holder with this opamo uh, phone box or phone pouch that's what they called so the benefit of this phone pouch is that you can in slightly insert your mobile phone just underneath that top layer and it's pretty clear you can see from while you are riding you can see the screen the second benefit what i see here it's a touch sensitive cover so you can still operate the phone while keeping underneath the pouch and if you want to open the stava app while you are riding you can see how many miles you covered over there or you can check the message my favorite feature of this pouch is there is an additional storage space underneath this mobile so you can keep a couple of things over there it's a plenty of space that's good when you buy this thing uh, make sure you buy a two zipper model so the benefit is that if you want to charge your phone and if you want to take an additional cable uh, you can lock from both sides and you can leave a space only for the cables to come out so that's an additional benefit for this here i have a additional usb port on my bike so that i can charge my phone from there when i go for a long ride i usually keep a couple of things in my backpack something like the additional water bottles and i want to lock my bike when i want to go to a grocery shopping or something or i can keep some additional tools that i can use in emergency conditions this is a 10 liter large capacity waterproof back rack bag that comes with a side compartment and there is a main compartment that you can put a plenty of stuffs over there while you plan for a long travel when i go for a long ride i usually keep a couple of water bottles over there and definitely my bike lock and some of other items that i usually there is an additional small pocket on the back of this bag with a reflective material that you can keep some small items. If you used to have a long ride with your e-bike, you must have a very comfortable saddle. This one has a foamy leather on top of it and a dual spring underneath the seat for best comfort that I enjoy. There is an additional red reflective sticker back of the saddle just for giving an additional protection when you have a night riding. And this is a MIPS helmet with a 350 gram weight and there is an additional LED light and reflector on the back. I usually keep a mini bike pump with a 
puncture repair kit you never know sometimes it may be useful when you stuck on the road this is a kryptonite chain bicycle lock that's going to give you some protection while you park your bike in front of a grocery store or some bus stations and i got a number locked version whether you have a tracking gps or not these gps tracking stickers are really going to be helpful for you guys these spoke reflectors are pretty cheap but that's going to save you while you ride your bike in night time and it is pretty easy to snap on your bike spokes my favorite item in the list anti theft bike alarm just enable with a touch button and wait few seconds for the confirmation that's it the bike alarm is activated if you try to move the bike now it will give you a warning and somebody is still trying to steal your bike the device will produce a 115 db loud noise one of my favorite headphone from aftershocks you can listen to your environment and outside noise but at the same time you can enjoy the music or you can make a phone calls through this headphone and this perfectly fit with my helmet and gives me around 8 hours of playback time this is an akaso lightweight 4k vloggers camera that i fit on my e bike it's going to give me some nice footage when i'm going for a long ride and this is a very lightweight record directly to a micro sd card here are some footage from the camera that you can enjoy